Hey, what's up, everybody? Back with another one. Checking out the uh, DLC for Spider-Man for PS4. It's supposed to come out October 23rd. It's supposed to be the uh, heist DLC. And the thing that's so funny to me while looking at the trailer for it is that uh, Felisa Hardy, a.k.a. the Black Cat, looks like Janina uh, uh, Gavinkar. She looks exactly like her, bro. Maybe it's just me. Maybe... I'm seeing too much into it, but I don't know. I'm going to throw up a picture and do some side-by-side -side comparisons. I don't know if she's involved in this or they use the likeness. doesn't sound like a voice, but maybe she could change her voice or not, but I don't know. But as far as the uh, DLC for this, I'm trying to figure out it's, what, three DLCs coming out. I kind of felt like maybe they should have just thrown this in the game for the hell of it. But it is DLC. Might mess with it. Might not. It's only a quick teaser preview of it so you don't get to see too much gameplay just a quick cinematic but sometimes that is enough to wet some people's beaks but i don't know so let's take a closer look and break down a little bit of the trailer and see if we see anything we actually like of course on this part of the trailer that they do the establishment that yes they do know each other and then of course we have spider-man doing a little chase down of it doing a little sad uh train running on the side of a subway cart and that's it it ends right there then of course it showed the rest of the dlc release dates and that's all we get out of this one quick little teaser a little bit of information about story structure but that is about it but otherwise the net let me know what you think of this spider-man dlc trailer do you think they should have just included this in the game for free or Spreading it out in DLC is a good thing or not. With me, it's I have a love and hate relationship with DLC. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. A lot of DLC I don't buy. I usually wait till they have like a complete version of the game that comes out with all the DLC, or I just skip it depending on what mood I'm actually in. We'll see where this one ends up on my list as far as uh, actually buying it or not. Because I'm still trying to decide if I want to. Um, just get the regular Spider-Man release or do a little something crazy and go a little bit above, but we shall see. I'm not too sure about it right now. I've been trying to make that decision today about uh, maybe trying to get that PS4 Pro Spider-Man uh, edition, but I'm not too sure. We'll see. Because I have an opportunity, I might be able to get it, but I don't know if I actually want to spend that much money. I mean, he can go towards something else, but we will see what ends up happening. But otherwise than that, let me know what you think about this DLC. Are you for it? Are you against it? And like I said before, do you think they just should have put it in the game? Or is it a good thing that they spread it out? Because I know if you pay twenty four ninety nine, you get all three of the DLCs. But if you buy them separately, they're nine ninety nine a piece, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what it is the last time I read it. But that was like a... Uh, the other day but i think that's what the uh price breakdown on it is at least so otherwise than that make sure to like the video comment below and let me know what you think and subscribe to the channel if you have not otherwise than that i will catch you all in the next one all right everybody